I'm excited for the whole lineup of shows on Sky Atlantic, and I wish them all well. And I, I, I am a fan of some of them. However, I'm really not going to talk about them right now because I want you to watch Blue Bloods. Gritty cop drama Blue Bloods takes audiences to the mean streets of New York. Tom Selleck plays the father of the Reagans, a family dedicated to upholding the law, but with very different ideas of how it should be enforced. Tell him what your grandpa did, Danny. Oh, you know about that, huh? I'm your father. Yeah. I did my own version of Scared Straight with your dad and your Uncle Joe. I took them down to the tombs and locked them in. What's the tombs? Jail. It's a jail, and it was full of drunk guys who were passed out and puking all over the place. And me and Joe, what was Joe, about eight back then? Yeah. We were scared out of our minds. Yeah, Dad did the same thing to me when I turned 11. You did? And how old are you, Jack? Ten. Ooh. Blue Bloods is kind of a hybrid of a procedural. You have a problem, man? Oh, but you might. Laced with a heavy family aspect. I hail the conquering hero. You know, some ass chewing I just shot for my sergeant. You did good, son. If you got your ass chewed, you deserve it. Thanks, Dad. Set in New York City with uh, Tom Selleck playing the commissioner. If you're looking for a pat on the back, don't become a cop. It's as much about the family and the characters as it is about the police work. Good job, Dad. Good job, Dad. Good job, son. It's got a lot more heart and um, really interesting characters to balance out the procedural. Everybody in the family is in the family business. Dad! Hey. Grandpa, over here. Mm, great speech, Dad. Hi. Hey. Hey, Grandpa. Proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. Henry Reagan, when he was chief of police, or when he was a detective, uh, it was in the, in the 60s and the 70s. Good cops are made by the world they police. I was the kind of cop I needed to be in my time. So was your dad. So was Dan. Now your dad runs the city and Danny's adapting to the changes. And I'm a dinosaur. The law could be stretched a little bit uh, when he was there. And then he became commissioner and he had to really clean it up. Let me tell you about the time I had the Russian ambassador's car towed to the South Bronx. A little glass nose straight up his tailpipe. That little stunt put you in the doghouse of Washington for a year, Pop. Also put me in favor with the rank and file for life. Yes, it did. Dad is commissioner of police, so he's their boss as well. So it makes it a little dicey, if you will, uh, and can lead to some interesting uh, ramifications. Mm -hmm. Different day, different way to do business. Business, he calls it. Yeah, Happy Jack used to be called the good bad guy. I'm sure his victims felt differently. Give me some help here. You hey, know the way the city used to be. I never had your appreciation for the gray area, Pop. Well, I play F Frank Reagan, or Francis, as his father, played by Len Carey, who um, <laughs> chooses to call him. Commission. And my character was a, a New York City police officer from being a beat cop all the way up through the ranks. I was a police officer for over 30 years before I became police commissioner, but I like to think of myself as a father first. And when he does ceremonial things as a commissioner, he puts on his old uniform. This was the highest rank uh, chief of department that he, he uh, ever carried. So it's important to him that his people know where he came from, because this is a very blue collar Irish Catholic family called the Reagans. I think he's basically a good man. Um, who has lost, he lost his wife five years prior to when the series starts. He lost his, one of his sons in the line of duty about a year before the series starts. So he's a man who is pretty reflective. They're in a, a very tough line of work. Um, my character has to order his people, and in this case, uh, two sons, into harm's way. You know, sometimes I think you blame yourself for Joe. Anytime a cop dies, it's like losing a member of the family. He didn't give a direct order and ordered his son, Joe, who was passed on as the show begins. But uh, in his mind, he ordered Joe into harm's way, and Joe uh, was killed. 
If they were smarter, it would take us longer to catch them. This is how I manage it. It's like my old man always says, if they were smart, we'd never catch them. My character is uh, Danny Reagan. He's sort of, uh, he's sort of the Reagan who probably marches to his own drum beat a little bit. Something inside. And he fixed the crack in the window. He's gonna have to fix this one too. He certainly loves, you know, being a, a, a law enforcement officer. He just sometimes does things his own way. I'm gonna go make myself useful. I think he's probably cut more from the cloth of the grandfather, Henry, played by Len Carew, than he is from the, the cloth of Tom Selleck's character, Frank. You have guns, right, Grandpa? I'm a cop, Jack. Hey, sorry, I'm late. Hey, hey man. Hi. To finish up a collar. Here's my backup. It's easy to say Danny's sort of the, the hothead of the family because he's also very sympathetic at times. He's very capable of empathizing with a victim or a, a, a criminal, if depending on their circumstances. Now you do yourself a favor. You walk down to that river, you find a nice quiet spot, and you drop your little nine millimeter Nikon into the water, okay? Hey, if you don't do that, I'm gonna be locking up a good man here today. He is very prone to speaking his mind and to, to, to going against the grain, but I think it's only to a certain extent. Kick down every door this punk's ever walked through, Dad. I know you will. They're not pushovers by any means, Aaron and Jamie, but they know that Danny's kind of a bulldozer. What are you arresting me? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against Fine. you in a court of law. Fine, good, take me downtown. My lawyer will have me out in an hour. And then maybe I will see my little niece. What did you say? <laughs> hey, 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 come on, come on. He may go about things the wrong way sometimes, but he usually does it for the right reasons. Hey, what happened? What happened? It's a disaster, that's what Stop happened. Stop the dramatics and just what tell me what What did you think you were doing? What do you mean what I was doing? I was saving a little girl's life. What, so this pervert can go prey on some other girl? I play Aaron Reagan, and I'm the only daughter in this cop family. Um, I play an assistant DA, so the only one with brains as well. It's not you. It's the job. It's like my mother used to say, a woman cannot compete with the gun and the shield. My character's character is the only girl in an all-male family in a very um, masculine profession. So she's grown up with it. Oh, Hanlon, you stink! Ah, I'm glad we came. Me too. I, um, I like showing you off to the guys. <laughs> Aaron has a an interesting relationship with her dad. I, I think that she's probably one of the spunkier kids that he's had to deal with out of the brood. But um, she's also really the major feminine aspect of the family now. So it's, it's, she's really strong with him, but at the same time, I think she's always his little girl. So it is, it's dynamic. You know, when you were 14, you were doing a babysitting. Maybe you need to loosen the reins a little. This coming from the man who sent a patrol car to follow me around on prom night. I never sent a patrol car. I wouldn't do that to you. It was unmarked. You know, she's going through a divorce. She's raising a child now, basically on her own. To add to that, that child is 14 and a girl. I bet Dad would let me. This is me loosening my reins. You can go, but you better come back in one piece or I swear I will kill you myself. I think when you're the youngest in the family, you either become very loud or very quiet. And uh, <laughs> I think Jamie uh, is, is the latter. He's someone who thinks before he speaks. Jamie, what do you think? You got a law degree. And a gun now, too. It's a lot of power. You don't govern it, Aaron's right. It's a slippery slope. Can just wait a little further. You wait until one night you chase some guy down a dark alley and have a little object in his hand? Maybe it's a cell phone, maybe it's not. So he's someone who uh, actually sort of cultivated his talents, ended up going uh, to Harvard, graduating with a law degree, and then uh, deciding ultimately that police work was in his blood and uh, came back and joined Academy to follow in the, in the footsteps of his father's and his, his older brother. You know, I was also your brother Joe's training officer when he was a new boot. No kid, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, terrible thing he got shot. Good guy, your brother. Yeah, he was. He has these really tough decisions dropped in his lap early on in the season, and that the FBI has said, you know, we can offer you an opportunity to finish the investigation your brother started uh, if you help us out and uh, simultaneously find out more about the nature of his death and who may or may not have been responsible. 
You're investigating the department? You haven't told my father? We don't know how wide this spreads or how high it goes. That's why we need somebody on the inside. I'm out of here. Wait a minute. There's something you should hear. It's me. I think I'm in. It's my brother, Jill. It's a cop show and a family show, you know. Um, I mean, it would be easy to say it's a show about a family of cops, but it really is sort of two shows in one. Hey, yo. Hey, Jimmy. Hey. Here he is. Yeah, finally. Hey. Where's your girl? Greenwich with the folks. More for us, then. Sooner or later, the, the family will get together for Sunday dinner, and um, one of my character's rules, who now sits at the head of the table, um, is it's OK to argue, but keep it civil. Hey, where's Danny? He said he would try to make it. You all know, right? I'm strangle him. No strangling on Sunday, OK, sunshine? OK, pumps. The role of family dinner, which happens every single episode, every week, um, is to touch into the lives of the family. Danny did what he had to do. Well, I knew you would take his side. I say what I think. And look where it got you. Opinions fly, and sometimes people butt heads. I don't want any peace. Yes, you do. I'll tell you where it got me. I got a clean conscience, and I can sleep at night. Well, what got you? Mom's mad at him because he took your side. OK, Nikki, stay out of it, please. Oh, your mom's riding around on the high horse again, huh? Don't make this about me. I'm not the one that slapped some guy around and stuck his head in the toilet. What do you know about it? Dad stuck somebody's head in the toilet? I know you're supposed to be enforcing the law, not making it up as you go along. Got no identical love. The family stays intact, and, and I think it's a it's it's definitely a centerpiece for the show. Oh, this is great. I got to spend another Sunday dinner with some Ivy League attorney trying to open my eyes to the real okay. world. More cranberries, anyone? You back down now. I'll never let you hear the end of it. You know, I think with this show, I think the added element is the family. It really um, it adds a layer. How'd it feel? Huh? Doing something for that guy. Good. Good doing something for you. Hopefully, the show will be able to incorporate elements of a fast-paced, smart procedural, um, but really at its heart and center be a character-driven family drama. Have fun, sweetheart. Oh, Dad, don't forget about your grandson's birthday tonight. Never missed one yet. I think the family part of it is, uh, it's really the secret ingredient to this show. We do have to solve a crime weekly, um, but we do it as a family in one way or another. Put your hat on, kid. You don't learn about the street behind 2,000 pounds of steel in a rolled up window. Look around. Pay attention. Let people come up to you and talk to you, tell you what's going on. What do you see? Broken glass. Someone broke into a car. Street cleaning's on Thursday, so it happened over the weekend. OK, Harvard. Maybe you are a Reagan. At its best, Blue Bloods will be a show about how police work affects these people and these people's lives that hopefully we care about. I want to say something. We all went our separate ways this morning. We all expected to return to our family to celebrate this wonderful young man's birthday. And here we are. And I feel very blessed and fortunate for that. Everybody in the UK should watch Blue Bloods for three reasons. Danny Reagan. You really are a good looking kid. Danny Reagan. Haven't I seen you in the movies? No, no. You should watch Blue Bloods because it's a great show. It's up to you, New York, New York. It is with profound praise and gratitude that I welcome you, new police officers. Please go move! Proud that you have answered the call to service and today join the ranks of New York's finest. You have earned the distinction of being the best trained, best prepared police officers in the world. Hey! My country will break your other leg! Ready to serve and protect the most vibrant city in the world. You're on the left. Now you are a part of the finest police force in the world.